flight. Hi guys and welcome to the steam race. Hi Enz. Dude. <laughs> We've got a friend to do this one with. It's just... You want to see this track yet? This is not the little challenge I did. This is my main game. And I've moved on from a fleet of Eurekas to the Cook. And I'm just curious to know which is going to go faster. In theory, the Eureka is a passenger engine built for speed. The Cook is a freight engine built to pull weight. I'm not actually sure if there is any difference between them. Is this three wheel drive or two? Uh, sorry, three axles or two axles drive? She's three axles, that baby. So she's driving three axles. Oh, yeah. Three okay, axles and a little pony truck on the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a twin axle drive with a bogey on the front. The pin in the middle makes it a longer wheelbase. So she doesn't like corners as much as the Cookie Monster. But she goes around every corner that I've laid. So Cookie has no problem. In theory. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have carnage on the railway, yeah? How Quite many possibly. carriages have we got? Twelve. Twelve, yeah? Yes, yeah, so I don't know if this is a fair test for the Eureka or not, but she does pull twelve. So we will see. Well, it's it's even in terms of um, weight that's being dragged. Same yeah, carriages. Oh, no, slightly different carriages. But no, yeah, this the is the lumber train. That's the cordwood train. But I believe they are the same base. And what's written on the side of them is the same. They're all down as flat cars. I love it when you say you believe. I mean, we're all, you're always on about the science. Where's the science in your belief? These look lighter. They look heavier. That's a bigger engine. <laughs> there's the science oh, oh, there's the science on your look or something yeah yep we scienced it okay we've scienced it i'm happy with the science i'm not but never mind <laughs> right which engine do you want then dude i'll take the eureka mate as i know you you you, you prefer the the monster nowadays yeah i have uh got a fleet of eurekas there's three of them four of them down there i can't remember if this is the fourth or the fifth there's a lot of them <laughs> Then I discovered that the cookie was actually worth it. I just don't like the cab. But I spend most of my time driving in third person anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But, uh, hmm. uh, it's, I like the cab on the Eureka a lot better. It's open, it's light because it's the wood. It's, it's just a nice little engine. It's, I'm interested to see what else they bring out. I'm really liking some of the modelling showcase images. Some of those engines look cool. Until then, make sure your fire's good, dude. Yeah, I'm just um, anticipating that now. What does this one go up to? 70, I believe. This goes up to 80. Okay, we're at 78. So, what are you going to do? A little bit of a time up? I mean, are the, are the waters all topped up and stuff? Yep, these will make it to the end of the line, not a bother. Famous last words. Yeah, water level <laughs> 5,000. Yeah. yeah, okay. Reduced. Right, the, the trick is basically set your regulator to 20, reverse the full, take the brake off. When it starts moving the whole train, gun it. All right, so regulator to 20, reverse it to what, sorry? 100. 100% forward. 100, so keep that 100% forward, okay. Yep. So, all right, I've got 20%. Killing the cocks. <laughs> We got twenty percent going, so I'm ready when you are, mate. Right then, three, two, one, breaks off. End of the trains are moving, I think. All right, gun it. See how this goes. I Oops. so hope you've got those points and everything sorted. <laughs> but you've definitely got me on acceleration. Yeah, she's away, isn't she? But will you have it top speed when you actually get going? Well, the first switch is a set right. This is good. This is good. Wow, you are just pulling away. Yeah, only slightly though. Only slightly. But that's expected really at the low end because this is a freight engine. True. She's got the low end torque, yeah. But will the Eureka uh, get going in the end? Well, I am. I don't slowing. think you're slipping any further behind. Alright. Uh, 
put my mouse at on the, the moment. I put my mouse on the screen. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see if you're. Oh, should be watching far, which aren't they? Checking uh, the switches. Yeah, because we could have a big, 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 you know, interesting moment. Oh, that was a lag spot. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I'm coming back on you, mate. Yeah, she's catching, isn't she? Trying. Ooh. She's trying. I wonder if with eight carriages, this would have been a bit better for the Eureka. Nah, I'm just holding the same speed. Well, that's interesting then. Have we discovered something here? That there's a top speed. <laughs> yeah. Probably to stop these types of crazy batshit moments like people, you know, crashing <laughs> servers and stuff. That little switch looks good. The switches are looking friendly. Only thing I would say is you do have the inside track, but... <laughs> You are actually slightly faster because you've got the inside line. Uh, that's the only giveaway, isn't it? But we do have an incline coming up. In theory, you'll drop off and I will. Couldn't resist, sorry. <laughs> Hello back there. Yeah, we're definitely back here. <laughs> but there's on, not much girl. in it, though, on, is there? Come on. <laughs> there's not much in it. It's there or thereabouts. Yeah, I wonder if the engines haven't been properly tuned yet to perform to the specifications. You're starting to sound like the wife where it's all about the performance again. Science. Ah, uh, science. Okay, we'll call it science. science. So I'm going to say that to her next time. So this it's isn't, science, babe. This isn't perfect science, but it's still science. Um, yeah. I mean, we're, <laughs> at full, we're at full tilt. And yeah, you're pulling away even more. Yeah, well, this is up the incline. Yeah, uh, the only so, thing I would say is that there is a slight difference of you having the inside track. Hmm. Because every time we go for an inside line, you do pull another half a carriage. Uh, and we need to start thinking about braking up here. Uh, you can break. Because there's a split. We can actually double it, can't we, and race back down again as well. We could. Um, so I'll you've just, just got to stop off. before you get to the next switch. So I can get on the outside track. Right, think there's enough down. space. We're slowing down. Okay, that well that's thing. different you that time. <laughs> Aha! One hundred percent. One to cookie. Right, if I don't screw up this switch, we don't have to do a rerail, which is fast becoming my favourite hobby in this game. I have noticed. I don't know why, I seem to have a real issue with checking switches. Right, do you fit in the siding? Ooh, I think you do. Looks good. Ah, the switch! Can you make it to the switch? <laughs> run, Enzo, run! Ah, oh, perfect timing. That was, was perfect timing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Although it would, I, I, I could have a very funny moment here for you. <laughs> Just flick it and see what happens. Yeah, see how, see how many carts end up the other side of the map. Mm. <laughs> but this one should help you, because you've got the inside line, and we're going down a decline. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's part of the science of it, as we're calling it. Mm, so that should balance out my early acceleration, being a freight engine. Right, flick that one right, when I'm through, mate. Through. And you're yeah, yeah, safe all the way back down, then. I've just got to do this one up here, but that's where we can start the race from. Fair play. Give me una momente. Hmm. And this should help you out as well because I'm starting on the a tighter bend. Ooh. 
some juice back in there. I thought you were stood on the back of my tender. <laughs> it's the real light. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> she does not like accelerating this old girl. So th there is something in there then, isn't there? Yeah. There is a little bit of fine tuning. Because you would expect that one not to do the accelerating so well. As this save game is being destroyed after this testing... Do you want to drop okay. the cars down to eight and see if that makes a difference? What, just drop to... Well, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll do down, which will then work it out, and then we'll swap it down to eight and then do the drag uphill to see if there is a weight difference. But oh, technically, if you've, got a weight, if you've got a weight reduction, it should be almost literally the same. Hmm. It's just whether or not my... This one has reached its peak. Hmm. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's looking like that'll be a second video. Possibly. <laughs> and then we've still got a race Betsy as well. Oh, the little one. Yeah. Bless it. The little beast that is oh. seemingly extremely overpowered. Let me draw a level with you. And then what we'll do is I'll quickly stoke the fire and then we'll be ready to go. Yeah, I need to do mine again now. Yeah, even sat side by side, the cook's a lot bigger engine, isn't it? Mmm, it is. She's quite a lot taller, especially down by the funnels. Funnel chimneys? Uh, Smokestack. Smokestack, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... I wouldn't know whether the scaling's a bit off on them. On they what? look all right on their own, but when you put them side by side, it just, the height seems mental. Yeah, but if that's a freight one, they always were, mate. There is mm. a difference. There is a difference. The, this one was built for speed or long distance. That was basically built to pull weight, where yeah. aerodynamics didn't meet anything. This was a little bit more like... They were still thinking, even back then, about aero as such. I just think the Eurekas are really pretty with all the brass banding on and that. She's a well, lovely-looking engine. She, 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 she's, she's, uh, you know... She's a something. <laughs> right then, are we ready before we run out of fire? <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Go for Well, I've lost 10 already, so. Alright, we'll resmoke it then. <laughs> ready when you are, sir. I'm just wasting a bit, but I'm not too worried. Right, set the regulators to 20. Reverser, full forwards. You ready? We're ready, mate. <laughs> Don't send the cocks, why not? Right then, three, two, one, brakes off. I think we're all moving and gun it. Ooh, he got me on this one. Sounds well though. And I've not even got the sounds properly sorted yet either. Yep. Oh, Cook's back in the race. <laughs> ah, drawn level. Yeah, in theory, I'm in the inside line, and this descent should give you an advantage if oh. not keep you up. There was a little uh, thing, Mijiggy, there. I must admit, I did go 100% a bit earlier before you did. <laughs> Oh, ah. um, I have a tiny problem. Oh, 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 I, I, oh, I wow. have a very big problem. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, there I she goes. I have another problem. <laughs> <laughs> the engine's still running, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. There may have been there, there may have been a few um, brass things. Oh, the prettiness oh, oh. may not be the same. There is definitely a problem with that particular section of track right there, right here. <laughs> it's it's one of them buggy bits that we see on the YouTube videos. Hmm. Fine, by the way. <laughs> Are you okay? 
<laughs> Your digital self has got no broken bones. <laughs> What is it with you guys and games? You're always trying to kill me in some form or fashion. You've got the Shermanists going around killing me in FS13. Uh, you're now trying to kill me in this game. You're always trying to, one form or another, trying to kill me, you lot. Hmm. Yeah, sorry Dodgy about that. build quality. Sorry about that. There's a, there is a distinct problem with that particular section of track. I don't know yet what. Oh, if I can reveal this, we can find out. Uh, there's a car coming round here. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> uh, they got boshed right back up. Really? Yep. Is that not going to do what it now? They... Really? No oh, there it goes. There it was. Really? <laughs> <laughs> did you go with it? <laughs> no. I managed to get away. Now the one's going back up the bloody line again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, where's the health and safety in all this? Where is the, um, you know, the uh, report <laughs> and everything else in regards to this? This is, you know, seriously, you know. Would you like to do some paperwork? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but I will put the brake on for you. There you go. I, I don't think it's going to matter, dude. The, the time it takes us to rear rail this lot. <laughs> These were twelve car trains. One of them's just gone. The other one's have got... Even, have we even got all of them here? Because I noticed that the wood store is over here for mine. Yeah, I've seen a couple go a long distance. One just pinged off over there. <laughs> hmm. I mean, this is, just a, this is just a serious fire hazard right here, right now, where you've got an engine upside down full of flames, you know. Yeah, you might want to keep your distance. This is uh, health and safety coming in right there. <laughs> Dude, I should be dead already. <laughs> I don't know, you managed to jump clear. Well, uh, the screen was flickering and God knows what at one point, which is why I couldn't do nout. I'm actually quite surprised you stopped so quickly. I just jumped out and put the F on. Emergency, uh, emergency braked. Oh, why didn't I do that? Oh, uh, there's, lots of, there's lots of lagging going on now. Oh, there's no point really. I was thinking about trying to relay the track and test it, but we're just going to get rid of the save anyway. Hmm. I wonder why you did it. Just go back to, or you can go back to the save bit and go from there. It's your dodgy track building, I reckon. So, something is definitely amiss here, but it's this is not the first time I've seen it. YouTube has Dis shown me the way on this. This is a thing. Disco, bu disco build quality at its finest. You know what? It could be right here. Where's here? Sorry. Right here. The trellis has gone strange, look. It's kind of done its weird little twisty bit. Yeah, but it should sit on top of that. It shouldn't make a blind bit of difference unless yeah. it's a height thing. But that trellis ah, ah, is ah, a perfectly ah. smooth trellis apart from there. So that's where the spline has gone weird and freaked out. I wonder if that is the problem. Your dodgy build quality again. Oh, it's definitely dodgy. It went up all right, though. I just don't like coming down. At full speed. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that was that, that was that was uh, you know everything, including putting sails up, trying to pick as much wind, less you know wind behind I can say as well. Hmm. So we're okay to go up, coming back down, more of a problem. All you technically got, got to do is basically, did you save before we started? Oh yes, yes. It was as soon as we logged in, that was where the save was. Well, we can just do another save, but come back in and job done. That's it. Rather than clear up all this crap, because um, oh, we're not clearing yeah. this. This is we're, no, we're no, just no, going to no, abandon no. this shop. <laughs> yeah, well, then we, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is we can then go back and mark the spot of where it's happened, and then just go back and then look at it in its previous oh, oh. potential danger situation. I am thinking that is the spot. Look where the trellis works, even underneath. Oh, there's a whole trailer, yeah. Yeah, it's... But we can find it, at least. Um... I'm thinking that's yes. where it originally exploded, but the last one exploded there, where that one's tipped over. I'm so confused. Dude, my, my, oh, well. my, screen, my screen was here, there, and bloody everywhere. I knew nothing apart from <laughs> there was something going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were still on the loco, weren't you? Yes. Heading into I was, orbit. In, I was in the F thing thinking, you know, what else can I do to, you know, reduce <laughs> or get something out of this? But, you know. You get travel sickness. <laughs> Motion sickness. 
<laughs> motion sickness. Do you need? Do you need to lie down? <laughs> like, like, a tiny bit, yes. <laughs> I might have to go and see Nurse Gurley in a minute just to make sure everything is all right. <laughs> oh, well, after that carnage, I think the race was quite good going up. We sensed yes. it a little bit. They seem to have the same top speed. Just the cut yes. seems to get there a bit faster. And obviously me opening it up to 100% did make a big difference and possibly Cylinder Cox. That may have made a little bit of a difference. I, didn't, I know they weren't they about doing do that. don't do anything yet. No, they actually said that? Mm, no, it's for people testing, I believe, right? Uh, more science people. Yeah, I, yeah, I believe in the science that we possibly do. Well, before we go then, let's science this sucker. Just to make sure it is this little defective part. Do, 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 do. Uh, we're just the high oh, I've over jumped it. Ah. Oh, I can get the wagon. <laughs> Crash works. <laughs> Navigations. Uh, Your shoddy <laughs> building working again, yes. <laughs> it worked fine for that's me. About as the bare, that's about as. Well, there's a little lip on it. That's a bit better. That's better. You have to wait until you right click. Yeah, the MP sinking side of things. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine, but it does look better than what it did. So, you know, we'll show the building works. We'll find out if we can take a train. That'll be the final test. Ah, oh, this one's going to be in the way now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I daren't start doing the rerouting, which we call it, because. You get booted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Server say no. <laughs> No touchy touchy. Hmm. Have I got it? I think I've, I've got something. Falling off again. Well, it's just flicked upside down, put it that way. It's no longer on the track again. Oh Christ, where's it gone this time? It's on the floor. Oh, oh, now it's ah. in my head. We've got the re-railer. Trying to bloody kill me again. <laughs> Is it going to re-rail up here? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Right, she's going to go down the line, see if she jumps off. See, I think you'd need to actually go at it at speed. Uh, the first, we've already done this. The last one we sailed down the line fell off. <laughs> oh, did it really? Yeah. It may be because you've corrected the spline now, so... It's looking promising. Right, sciencing then. I'm going to say, rather than the track, it was the trellis that gone weird. That is a possibility. That Surely, works fine. You know, disco buildingness. It's just your driving. How the hell can it be my <laughs> driving when all I do is essentially hit full power? <laughs> That's your science crap again, isn't it? All I can say is it was your hand on the regulator. I'm speechless, absolutely <laughs> speechless. Well, that doesn't make for a good video, so on that note, we'll call this one there. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> Don't call me, I'll call you, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. Right there, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of carnage. The science kind of went out the window when we had the incident. And the attempted murdering of the Enzonus again. <laughs> it is a thing. On camera. <laughs> Get got, away out of that one. We've got evidence this time. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Later. <laughs>